In this video, we'll find the point of intersection between two linear functions. And here I have the two functions drawn out as a red line and a blue line. And what we are looking for is the point or the coordinates where these two values meet. This is called the point of intersection. And what happens at this point is the two equations are equal to each other. Now it is tempting to draw these lines out very accurately and read that coordinate from the graph. But we want to find it algebraically, meaning with calculations. So what we'll do is we'll set these two equations equal to one another. If you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more. So back to our question. What we want to do is equate the two equations. Now both of them are represented by y and for the one line y is equal to 2x plus 3 and for the other y is represented by negative 3x plus 7. So when I equate them I have y equal to y because they represent the same variable and I can replace y's with the expressions of x which represent each one individually. Now I have a normal solve for x question. So what I can do is I can transpose the 3x to the left and the positive 3 to the right. If I add up like terms on the left, I have 5x equal to negative 10. And in order to find x, I divide both sides by 5. So negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. So on the graph, what it means is the point of intersection between these two graphs is where x is equal to negative 2. And we only need to solve the y value. And in order for us to find the value of y, we simply need to substitute x with negative 2 in any one of the two equations. So I'm going to use the red equation and I'll replace x with negative 2. And if I simplify, I have y is equal to negative 1. So on the graph, what it means, the point of intersection is at x equal to negative 2 and y is equal to negative 1. And you can always answer your question of therefore the point of intersection is negative 2 and negative 1.